Come on in, boys. Get your tea, 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 for you today on LED lights. Finally I have changed every single light bulb in my house for LED lights and I'm quite impressed. I can save a thousand watts an hour. That's quite an incredible amount. So we're going to discuss the good, the bad and the ugly. That must be me. So we'll get straight on with it, yeah? <laughs> in the beginning we had the good old incandescent light bulb. Fairly cheap to manufacture and it was reliable. Then we had these things, fluorescent compact. Well, they worked. They took a bit of time to warm up if the room was a bit cold, but after a year or so, the light tended to deteriorate because the phosphorus coating gets a bit burnt and that does affect the light output. So they weren't that great. See, in the early days, we had these um, halogen lamps and then they tried the compact fluorescent. Horrendous. Awful. And then they brought these ridiculous things out. A candle gives more light than that. The manufacturers nearly got it right with this one. This is a 12 volt one which I've taken apart. As you can see there's enough electronics on that ball to send a bloody spaceship to Saturn. It's even air cooled. And it's only got four LEDs on it. It wasn't that efficient. But it was close. Quite a few of my lights are these 50 watt halogen things. They're 240 volts, so we don't need a transformer for them. And these ones are a direct replacement. They are wonderful. This one, 50 watts. This one, 5 watts. Yet it gives the same light output. If not, even slightly better. So I'm impressed with these. Very good. All LED. Again. This little area was 150 watts, it's now 15 watts. It's more than bright enough, absolutely more than bright enough. These GU10s, this is a standard 50 mil, but they do a slightly bigger one. I think this one's got 96 LEDs in it, roughly, I might be wrong. Um, again, GU10, so if it actually fits in the light, you can get 75 watts equivalent light. But this one I think uses about 8 watts, and this is about 5 watts. 5 watts gives the equivalent of uh, 50 watts output and I'm actually happy, very pleased with them. Downstairs hallway there was 4 50 watts, now there's 4 5 watts. What a saving! And some of my lights are these 12 volt 50 watts and this one replaces that. Obviously a transformer is required. Same thing, 50 watts down to 5 watts and a brilliant light output again, if not even better Here's these 12 volt ones There they are, the iris is finally shut down They are really bright to look at It's probably not a good idea I also use a lot of these 20 watt G4 capsule lamps, halogen, 12 volt not anymore. Now I use these. Much brighter, unbelievably brighter. I managed to get these for like a pound each, but it wasn't too bad. And I am impressed. And they fit in the actual light without any problem. Proper white, nearly 6,000k. Massive saving. Each one of them used to be 20 watts. Now it's 2 watts. I'm pleased with that and there's plenty of light absolutely tons and tons of light more than enough that is a massive saving on power and this little thing on the wall used to be 60 watts now it's 6 and this thing here this is another standard lamp um, they used to be the same thing 20 watt allergens but as you can see I've removed this uh, and now they're the same 2 watts just try to get on them little lights there for you and they are proper bright I'm quite pleased with that 
five times two watts now. And the good thing is they they uh, they do fit in there that. With all my lights, I haven't replaced each light in my house. I've simply retrofitted it. So I've removed all of these transformers which were designed for halogen. And they do unfortunately have a minimum load. As you can see, a minimum load of 50 watts on that. So if you just drive a couple of LEDs on there, it's not going to register 50 watts and it won't come on. It will just shut down. So you do need to change these, unfortunately. But as I say, they're not expensive and you can simply get these in the hardware store. And I've used these ones from B&Q and I'm really happy with those. Dimmable. Dimming these is a bit of a problem because again, most dimmer switches, they need a minimum load too. See if I can focus on this for you. Minimum load, 60 watts. So a normal dimmer switch will not do it. Now I've done something interesting on this one. I've left one halogen bulb in it just to get the load up just enough for my dimmer switch to recognise it. These used to be 20 watts of pop in there and now they're 2 watts of pop plus that 20. You can see the difference with that halogen in there in the colour temperature but I can now dim these down without doing too much messing about. Here we go. It's not exactly that smooth but dimmable. Just about see that halogen one on there. And it works. It's quite nice. These are a smaller halogen, 20 watt, 12 volt. Now of course, these. But I had a major problem with these. Disappointed. I bought them in really cheap. Again, like a pound each. But I've got 10 of these in one light and every single one of them popped after about a mm, couple of hours. They got too hot. As you can see, I've had to change a couple of LEDs on there, which I wasn't impressed with. But not only that, underneath this, I had to put a 15 ohm resistor, which I will show you. Well, the good news is, I wasn't short of LEDs because I had a spare one of these and I nicked the LEDs off it as you can see. These are the ones I had minor problems with in the kitchen, 10 of those, they used to be 20 watt allergens, these are the ones I modified with the resistor and now they're about one and a half watts. Well we've all seen these before. Personally, I quite like them, but they were terribly inefficient. And I came across this. So I thought I would purchase a few and test them. To be honest, useless. Absolutely useless. I've blown three of these without any reason. Whole row of LEDs just fails. Um, so I would avoid these personally. They're good when you first put them on. They don't run that hot. Lovely light. Instant start up but they don't last more than five minutes, which is a shame. But as you can see, I got upset with the light bulb because half of it doesn't bloody work. Silly things. So avoid these guys because they will mess you about and they're fairly expensive, these ones. So I was a bit upset with that. I'll have a look at it and find out what went wrong at some point or we'll blow it up on 5,000 fucking volts, because it pissed me off. That's a good idea, isn't it? So, overall, I'm really chuffed. Bought a load of these, tested them, I'm happy. These bigger ones, anyway. So there's two you might want to avoid, which are these corn type things, what they call them. They're not very good. I think heat rises in the room, and if they get a bit warm, they don't work. Fine outside, when they're running cold, wait till summer. These won't last. So that's going to get the treatment on the 5kV capacitor. And I want LEDs all over this wall. And the first picture to get a burn in it gets a big shout, I reckon. And these little tiny uh, 20 watt equivalent capsule ones, I have problems with them. But the rest of them, especially these GU10s, brilliant. Can't fault it. And I'd rather give my money 
So the manufacturers of these things, rather than the energy companies, might take two years to break even on them. Well worth it, it's a nice crisp white light. You get warm white or daylight, so it's up to you. It's well worth considering. Hope that was an interesting top tip. Now I really do want to throw a light bulb at the wall. See any fucking light bulbs? Ha! We can do wonderful things with light bulbs. Watch this. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, it's like sex, isn't it? Seemed a good idea at the time till we got to clean the mess up. Ha! I ain't got that problem anymore. <laughs> right, guys, oh yeah, I nearly forgot. Your pictures. Good. I'm happy with it. I don't care how many there are. All of them. So if you want your picture on the wall, this wall, that wall, that wall, that wall, wherever, don't care. Put them in the comments, as long as I can get hold of it, and gradually we'll fill it all up so you can see it. So if you can't see yourself on there, you know, keep putting your things in the comment so I can get hold of it. It'll take you a long time, but we'll do it. It's all good. And I've got an enormous update on Ashley. You guys have done amazing. And I'm going to do a video especially for that. I can't say too much because I know he watches it. <laughs> that uh, you know, know what's coming up but thanks for watching as usual guys and don't panic there's going to be plenty of vids I'm not shutting the channel down or anything ridiculous like that I think now well I've pretty much done it so you might have to watch me grow old gracefully on the internet because I have got no chance of finding a girly because if she finds out some of my stuff on the internet I've had it so I might as well carry on making you guys some videos <laughs> see you soon